as we are talking here about the semantic SEO, you also have to check how your website is using the uh, rich data. And rich data means it's uh, just uh, micro data or the data which are structural data. This means that you are sending to the crawlers, it could be a Google crawler, Bing crawler, whatever. So you are sending to crawlers information in specific formats. And those formats are like, you know, like I just set up in stone formats when you can just say like, okay, this is a image of my product. This is a price for my product. This is a description of my product. It's also used by often graph for a Facebook. It's also used by, for example, um, comparison pages, which are compared to compared product A to B and so on. And it's very, very important on the e-commerce data because e-commerce data always have a lot of parameters. It's not all, only for the e-commerce data because you can send also the outer info, the comments, information, and so on. So you can also send a lot of data to, uh, to the crawler um, according to typical, let's say, article. But as I will just explain you here, for the e-commerce, it's really important. And here in this example, we have a normal page. I mean, like a normal page where, as in this case, you just compare the best marketing shoes. So look how different the pages are giving the information to, um, uh, to, to crawlers. Let's say runner's word, here we have a, yeah, like a modified time, publishing time, um, the image, yes. And then we have, um, in some cases, we also have full article uh, info, um, uh, information about what should be uh, visible for social media uh, posting. And I will just scroll here. You have on next one, yes. Like, okay, this is the social media feedback from feedback from, from, from social media for a specific product. Uh, so you can send this as well. Um, and typically you are doing this on the content level with a template. So you have a template and this template just help you to get the information from database and send this information to the crawler. It's mainly your work here. It's mainly to figure it out if you have a specific plugin or your IT department is working on the correct implementation of, for example, the schema.org. And here we have still the comparison of the of the uh, runner's word, yeah, you know, best running shoes, and look what they are sending also to Google, yes, to, to understand. They are sending here exactly what products are listed on the website in the rich data using the schema org um, specification, which products are listed on, on the site. So they have like, you know, brand, Brooks. Yes, they have the image. They have the name, type, SKU. Sometimes also can, here we have a price, as you can see, price, if it's available, yes or no, and so on. And they are just listing all the brands that they have, all the shoes that they that they have in this comparison, like shoe by shoe. And then, of course, the crawler have very easy understand about what the content is. They don't have to use the semantical understanding models. They just crawl the data and they already understand, okay, this is the price and I can display the result with a specific options and later if you are thinking how to use this uh, schema data then i will just give you the example yes so if we look for let's say for this result yeah like uh, that's that's our result best running shoes um i will just give you example how this works in google um so let's go for the best running shoes I'm just asking like this, but here, you see this? They already listing like that. So there is listing here with all the listings they already understand, okay? This is the, the shoes that I would like to uh, recommend to the, to the end user. 
And of course, this is the same here, the specific data, yeah? So Google, so Google already understand where is the product, what is the product level. This is also done, this, this is exactly also the rich, rich data. Um, and then if you search for a specific model, so I will just take one model from here, like this one, let's say Nike Pegasus, then you will have even more data. Sorry for that, but yeah, Polish, but um, yeah, so it's, yeah, so that are the results in Polish, but anyway, you, you will, you will see that here, this, what you have, you have a number, you have a price, um, yeah, you have, yeah, you have a size and so on. So this is also um, rich data. So if you have it, oh, rating here, yeah, and the price as well, and the availability, so all this, all this information are here, the price in stock. This is exactly, this is exactly where um, you are using the rich data. So the rich data is very important for your business. Um, and also, um, if you are thinking about the, just a typical content, not e-commerce content, I really advise you to work on the outdoor um, level so you can have uh, outer sub pages, you have outer bio, and you send the information about outer, bi uh, outer bio to Google as an expert. So to build the topical expertise, you don't only need a person who is uh, just a writer, you need a person who will be expert. And then this expertise can be visible here. I will just search for here you see, here we have authors. So we have 15, 51 already author Jeff, author Amanda, author Morgan, and they have the pages, yes. So that's are the pages of specific authors. Here we have also the author and so on. So as you can see here, here everywhere, we have, we have information about specific authors. Oh, this is very good. Uh, okay, this is author of the of the comment. So that could be also. So the author of the of the comment can be also here visible if you send the comments from schema. And here is the author of the article. So you have the article. Author is uh, Giovanna Sadik. And here you have a page about the Giovanna where you just explaining why she why she is um uh, expert. So that's all about. Um, rich data and if you need more um, information you can always ask us so we are very open for that thank you